right, welcome back. We're now back in the third gen. Not quite as nice of a luxury ride as the G-Wagon, but still, she's my baby. I love her. Still wearing my hat, my nice new hat. So, you guys figure it out. Leave it in the comments. See if you know who it is. Except for the person it belongs to. I don't want you to comment. Leave it open to the viewers. Anyways, we're headed to the airport. We're going to go service the lab and try to fix. I got a corrupt data on my. Uh, in my avionics on the charts. I'll show you when I get to the plane. Uh, hopefully I can resolve that. I might have to delete all the databases and reload, see if that fixes it. So stay tuned for that. All right, here we go. I'm gonna get a few of these little disinfectant wipes to restock a little bit. Let's get two of these, let's get six. Six of these. I think that's it for now for that. We'll see what else we need. I'm gonna grab this little fox cart, this little power cart. All right, I'll plug that in. We'll show you. I'm gonna walk over here. There's your nice King Air 250i, I believe it is, the new version. It has the auto throttles and all that jazz. Over here's my baby. And we'll show you what we're gonna do. So I'm dragging the cart over here. I'm gonna get it real close. I'm gonna plug it in, get ground power. That way we can try to get that corrupt database resolved. I tried just reinstalling the card and that didn't really do it. So let's see here. Let's set this down right here for now. I'll get my gloves. I've got some big work gloves that I use so I don't get, I don't get dirty. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Plug goes into the wall. Plug in a twist to lock. Alright. And then we're going to take this plug, plug it into the airplane. If I got the cart close enough, let's see. It'll reach. Yep, it'll reach. I'm going to plug this in to my external plug. I can open the door. There we go. All right. Plug that in. Set my gloves down. All right, so I got it plugged in right there into the external plug. Oops, I didn't know what that noise was. I'm gonna turn it on. All right. We got 28 volts, 29 volts. All right. Now we'll have some lights too, to help me see. I'm gonna go do the potty and I'll show you. I'm gonna set these. Clock's wiped right there until I figure it out. I'm going to put these little gloves on and I'll show you. Let's turn the battery on. If I can get in here, we're going to turn the battery on. Turn the internet off. We'll make sure. We got 29 volts, so we're good. The databases corrupt 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 so we're gonna we're gonna do that next first I'm gonna work on getting the potty out of here so let's turn on some lights all right all right so we got the lights on let's see I'm gonna set the camera down for a second here's what I'm gonna do right or wrong this is how i'm gonna do it i'm gonna put on my gloves right because we're touching the potty even though i'm not a germaphobe it's, let me just peed in the potty they didn't do number two so <laughs> it's not really that big of a deal 
but I'll show you. I got my supplies, and I'll show you what I do here. I'm gonna go back here, and I'm gonna move the my little trash can out of the way. Right there. Move this bottle, this water bottle, out of the way. That water bottle, I use the water bottle I use to pour down the P tube. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do that too. Let's set this right here for now. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna push up the potty like that, that seat. All right, there we go. There we go. We've got all my supplies over here. Let's see if I can get in here. And I'm gonna show you guys. There's the potty, and it is flushable. But when you're pushing that flushing thing, all you're doing is circulating what's down in this bowl. You're just circulating it. So eventually, that fluid, the blue juice, is actually getting diluted with pee. So not to be gross, but that's what it is. And here's our pilot relief tube, or just relief tube, not a pilot relief tube, I guess, because it doesn't really reach up to the front, which would be nice. But I'm going to clean this, and I'll show you how to do it. Basically, let me set it down here. I got a little, blue, I got a little concoction here. It's kind of a diluted pine saw. The pine saw straight is just a little too strong. So I'm going to fill it up. Fill it up. Swirl it around a little bit. And I'm just going to squeeze the trigger. Let it drain. And I'm raising it up just to drain it. Gravity. Right. We use gravity to our fullest advantage here. And that. Drain it, drain it, drain it. All right. Just like so. Looks good. It's all drained out. Right, I'll just set that right there for now. And then I'm also going to take these Clorox wipes. Which isn't really necessary, but I'll get it over. Oh, my, my wipes have got all messed up here. Let's see. There we go. A Clorox wipe. Take a Clorox wipe and I'm going to wipe the whole thing down, right? Clean it out real good. Just like so. Nice. All right. And then we're going to shove this. Here's what I like to do. I like to get good down in this little holder. Let's see if we can get it in there. Like that. Put it down in the little holder down there. And then I shove that hose in there like that. And now it's good to go. Alright, so that's good. I'm going to take a little rag just to fold, just to put my wipe on. I'm going to wipe the toilet. Nice. I'm going to pour a little bit of that. Right, just a little. That's enough. And I'm going to take this rag. I'm going to wipe that down. Make it look nice and shiny. Okay. Get another fresh one. All right. Just like that and dry it off. It'll dry it nice. So it looks nice. All right. That's good there. And now I'm going to show you guys to service the lav. It's under this little door. So a little button pulls that and it's just a cabinet that just snaps on with these little clips. All right. That clips into there. All right. I'm going to move the little door out of the way. And let's see. I might have to get the flashlight to see. Maybe I'll get the flashlight to show you guys. Let's see. Hold on. Let me go get the flashlight so you can so the lighting will be good so you can see that. All right, here's the flashlight. And you see this little this knife valve thing? I gotta push that forward. Oops. Let me see if I can get the light. See this little knife valve? You gotta push that forward. Like that. And that closes off the top of the potty. All right. I guess I got it all the way. Oh no, a little bit further. There we go. Now it's all the way forward. And then I'm going to disconnect this little hose right here. This little quick release thing right here. See that? And then the potty just slides out. If I can get it to slide out. Come on. Out of it out. There we go. Here it comes. All right. Just like that. And it comes out. 
I know you guys can't see. Let me raise it up so you can see if I can get the hose out of the way. All right, and there we go. And I'm gonna wipe all this stuff off again. Oh, it had a, I should have used the handle. That would have helped. But anyways, <laughs> I didn't know it had a little handle like that. But there it is. It just slides in these little tracks right here. And there's a little handle. And there's blue juice in here. They're gonna unscrew this, dump it out, rinse it out, put new juice in there. And that's all there is to it, right? So, stay tuned. And this little tray is just a corrosive tray that keeps it from... That little thing's supposed to be in the back. But that's it. Let me get the potty out of here and let them service it. And stay tuned. All right, we got the potty back in. We'll give it a flush. We'll show you. We'll push it. That flushes it. And you can hold it to flush a lot if you need it to. That's all we're going to do. And all that does is circulate that same fluid. So, so there you go. That's it. All right, here we go. The bathroom's back put together, back together. Nice and clean, all wiped down, disinfected. We're good to go. I've got my interior lights on too. I don't know if you notice. If I can, I'm going to turn those off. But let me spin around so you can see. There's the cabin lights, the cabin lights right here. And I can dim them. I can turn them off. I can hit entry light, which just does the emergency light so late at night or whatever or if i turn them on i can dim them watch we'll hold the dim button they gradually dim down make it a little nicer all right go back to bright all right so that's that now we're gonna get up front get my sd card out and we're gonna try to figure out what's going on here as you can see well now it's not saying corrupt it was saying corrupt now it's just saying out of date. I'm gonna reboot. Let's see it happen. We'll reboot. One time. See if that does it. Okay. Turn it back on. If the speaker comes on, we're gonna turn that off. Database corrupt. Yeah. So it's corrupt. It's saying my chart view is corrupt. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit database options. Uh, delete databases. Delete all. See, I don't know if you can delete them individually. I haven't been able to find that page. So I'm going to delete them all. So here we go. Okay, they're going to be deleted on another power cycle. So let's turn it off. And then back on. All right, here we go. It says it's deleting internal databases. While that's doing that, I'll turn the speaker off. Let's see if I can look at it while it's doing it. It's still showing. I'll wait till it's finished doing that. So yeah, it's deleting everything except for my checklist, right? Hopefully. I've done this once before and it didn't delete the checklist, so hopefully it doesn't or I'll have to take it over to Cessna and let them reinstall it. Deleting internal, press any key to continue. Press any key to continue. Any key to continue. Alright, so I think it's done. All right, so it's done. And you can see there's no no data, no terrain, nothing. All right, so we're gonna turn that off. Turn the battery off. We're gonna pull our Connects card, our little flight stream card out. I'm gonna put my database card that I downloaded off the internet, off of Jepson, the Jepson uh, data manager thing. All right. Push that in, it's in. The power back up. Gonna turn off the speaker. Databases. And then it's syncing now, right? Syncing, one of six. It says 14 minutes remaining, but it won't take that long. Watch, it'll start picking it up here in a little bit.
I don't really know what comes next I'm just doing my best Even though I'm so stressed out Everything just feels like a test That I feel so depressed When I can't seem to get out But something deep inside won't let me it for about 20 30 seconds or so all right nobody's in the back you guys okay back there keep it down you're irritating the pilot <laughs> oh my goodness i gotta make fun or, I, or i'll cry because this is this is upsetting all right come on baby fourth time's the charm Database missing. Now it's missing. But it's showing up. It's not missing. It's right there. Why is it not? Let's see if when it shows up like that, if I can see the charts. Good, see. Nope, charts is grayed out. I don't know. We're going to have to redo the cards again. Do redo my nav data card so what i'll do is i'll take this home i'll reformat it again and try again tomorrow or someday who knows when i'll come back out here so that's it for now sorry it's very disappointing we'll try again thanks for watching